a God. And this God is giving us evidence that He exists all around us. Just look in the mirror, for example, at, the, at yourself. You are made in God's image. And God loves you. But the problem is this. Although God created you and He, and he loves you, you have sinned against God, haven't you? God says it's wrong to lie. And have you told a lie? God says that it's wrong to steal. But have you ever stolen anything? If you lied and you're a liar, you've stolen and you're a thief. If you hated someone, Jesus said you're a murderer at heart. If you look at a woman to lust after her, you've committed adultery already in your heart. And so where will you be on judgment? Where will you stand on judgment day? Will you be innocent or guilty? And if you're guilty of breaking God's commandments, will you go to heaven or hell? See, God loves you. He doesn't want you to go to hell. But he's a good judge, and he must punish criminals. And since you've broken the law, God must punish you. The only way for you to escape the punishment is if someone who is perfect pays your punishment for you. And that's what happened 2,000 years ago for Jesus Christ. He came to the earth, lived a sinless life, and he died for the sins of the world so that whoever would believe in him could have eternal life. Because he, you broke God's law, but Jesus paid your fine. So it's like you're standing in front of a judge, you admit, yes, I'm guilty, I've broken this command, this law, I've broken all of these things, and I'm guilty. But can't you just forgive me? The answer is no, I can't just forgive you. You have to pay your fine. But if Jesus comes into the courtroom and says, I've already paid this man's fine, then the judge can say, well, now you can go free. And so Jesus paid your fine so that you can go free. But Jesus has two conditions, what you must do so that his payment will count on your account, your, your, uh, your judgment. He said you must repent, which means to turn from your sins, change your mind about the way you're living. That's number one, turn away from your sins. Number two, believe the gospel. Do you know what the gospel is? It means good news, evangelia. It means that Jesus is good and he paid for your fine so you can go to heaven. It also, the gospel says that Jesus is alive. He died for your sins, but he rose from the dead and proved it by letting people touch his wounds and eating with them. So do you believe that Jesus is risen from the dead? If so, then I encourage you to turn to Jesus and you can have eternal life. Repent and believe the gospel and you can be saved. Thank you very much. Do you have a question?